Right, good morning folks. Yes, this is Saturday and it's uh, meant to be a bit of a heat wave. It was a lovely day yesterday, so this is the second day off that heat wave, so we'll see what happens. But at the moment I'm off down to the shops <coughs> to get a couple of rolls. I'm having sausages um, on a roll for my breakfast before I go to work today. Yes, something a little bit different, but um, the sausages I've got are, um, you cook them in a bag <laughs> in the oven for half an hour. And uh, I know there's, there's folk on here like Frankie and uh, Mark who say, oh, Jag, you've got to get your sausages from the butchers. But I know that. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to have sausages and mash or something, I normally would go to the butchers, but this is just for a breakfast sausage on a roll sort of thing. So, uh, so we're just going to go down and get a couple of nice rolls from the bakers and that'll be my breakfast this morning. Thank you. Right, well, the initial reaction to the uh, the banger in a bag, whatever it is, when I went to cut them, they're very bouncy, you know what I mean? They were like um, a, lot of, a lot of giving them, they didn't sort of cut, um, but uh, they seem to be okay when I cut into them, so we'll just wait to taste them. Hmm, a little bit dry. Well, I've got them on a roll there, so we'll see how we get on with that, but just eating them like that. No, very dry, ma'am, so I don't know if I'm going to like these. Why do I buy things like this? Maybe I should listen to Frankie and Mark. Get your sausages from the butcher. Well, that's got a bit of a kick in it. What's all that about? Cumberland pork. Yeah, yeah well. Right, we've got a cup of tea, of course, to wash down. So we're going to have this, and then off we go to work. Right, we're going to do the uh, the mini quiz, uh, the telly mini quiz. So here we go, six questions on this. What is the national animal of Canada? <clears throat> the national animal of Canada. Is it a moose or is it a, a beaver? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go for, what we'll go for, is it a beaver? I think we'll go for beaver. In what year did Princess Diana, uh, Diana Prince of Wales die? That would have been 19... 90, oh, I can't remember, 1998 or something was it? Maybe a bit earlier. Yeah, we'll go for 1990. Oh no, no, maybe 1998, we'll stick with that. What is the largest living creature on earth? Is that the blue whale? Yep. It doesn't say, you know, does it have feet or does it, uh, just says what is the largest living creature? So we'll go for the blue whale. Autocaria is a skin disease otherwise known as what? Urticaria, which go for psoriasis. Which ancient breed of dog used to be sacred in China? Ooh. It wouldn't be the, the Pekingese, would it? Or the, the pug? Right, so the answers are on page 10. We'll go for the Pekingese as my final answer. So here we are, page 10. Where's page 10? Here we go, so the answer. <clears throat> First question, what is the national animal of Canada? What did I say? I said a beaver or a moose. Oh, it's a beaver. Excellent. And which, year, which year did Prince Diana die? I said 1998. The correct answer is... 1997. What? Oh, I'd missed this one out here. What does a paleontologist study? Well, we know that. It's bones of a dinosaur, isn't it? Fossils, yes. What is the largest living creature on Earth? I said the blue whale. Oh, it's a blue whale. Urticaria is a skin disease, otherwise known as what? I said psoriasis. It's actually called hives. And what ancient breed of dog used to be sacred in China? I said Pekingese, and the answer is Pekingese. Fantastic, Jag. Well done. Was that five out of six there? Excellent. Hmm. Not really enjoying this. It's all right, but. Hmm. I think I'm only going to give her sausages. What, four out of ten? Four out of ten. Right, we are in my room now. Chelsea, what do you think? That, what do you think these are here? What do, you, what do you think they are? Have a guess. Ashes. Ashes, yeah. Okay, what kind of ashes? Like ashes from a person that oh, get uh, cremated. Yeah, they are. How do you know that? I've seen them before. Oh, have you? Yeah. Who do you think they are? I don't know. They are my dad's. Oh, are they? Mm hmm. He's in a topper container. He's also in here as well. Look, look at this bit of jewellery here. Where is it down there? 
So he's in there as well. All right. So I put that in there, so there you go. So you guessed that correctly then, yeah. right? Now, as I was saying to you earlier on, I can't remember this. Let me just see if I can find this, this thing for you. Hang on. Right, folks, good morning. This is Sunday. Actually, it's just gone afternoon. And today, instead of going out with bro today, I've just decided to have a, a quiet afternoon, chill out kind of day in. Because um, tomorrow, folks, well, I'm going to go and get my hair cut tomorrow, folks, yes. And today, we're starting off the day with just a nice chilled out chocolate pan and uh, a quick cup of coffee. Coffee pods in. Right, here it is then. The breakfast of champions. Choco pan and the cafe au lait. Continental and ooh la la this morning, folks. Here we go. Right, folks, here we are outside chilling in this glorious sunshine where I'm reading the letters page in the National Geographic. And uh, I felt bad the other day for buying a packet of chewing gum uh, as an impulse buy, but uh, this letters that I'm reading, <laughs> this kind of takes the biscuit. Uh, well, it actually takes a little bit more. Um, this letter reads like this. In the early 1970s, I visited a local pet store in Southern California and on the spur of the moment decided to order a lesser anteater. <laughs> yes, indeed. I kid you not, folks. It actually says that. A spur of the moment impulse buy as a lesser anteater. Fantastic. That is 